All right, let's do some maintenance. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing all right. Today I want to talk to you about some things you really should consider doing before you go on a long motorbike trip. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do to be all prepared for my trip to Iceland. Let's do it. So the first thing you really should do is check the oil. You, with an old motorcycle like the Honda here, you should really do that regularly. I'm usually checking it like every few hundred kilometers just to be sure it's all good. So I'm having here just some cheap 10W40 oil from the gas station. I think with the old bikes, it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you put in there. Just to make sure there's oil in there. Okay, just pour it right in. All right. Yeah. I think we're good on the oil side now. Cool. All right guys, now that the oil is good, second most important thing is the right tire pressure. 2.5 bar should be okay for every kind of bike. Let's check that. All right, we're using our Xiaomi again. So, let's do it. 2.5. Awesome. Right. The rear tire as well. It's so easy that thing. You can reach everywhere. It's also very good. Done. Easy. Right guys, now that the tire pressure is all right, let's check the tension of the chain. And while we're doing this, we might as well also lubricate it. Let's do it. We can do a little bit. Every Honda Dominator has this toolkit. So we can just loosen it up here. Easy peasy. And then I believe it's a 12 millimeter. When you tighten it up, both sides with the same amount. So the tires always stay in line. That's very important. So we do here. Half on the other side. All right. And it should be all right. Now we can tighten it back up. Yeah, it's tight enough, I think. Yeah, looks good. So the next thing we want to do is making sure that our brakes are okay. So let's check the brake pads and the uh, brake fluid. Let's do it. All right, so in the front, since they are new brake pads, I know already that they are good. Do the check the same in the back. The back. They also look good to me. Yeah. The fluid in the front, you can see it here. Like, you cannot see it well right now, but you can definitely tell that that is all brake fluid. It's filled up. So we're good there. Here, I'm not sure, but. I think, uh, yeah, I'm always not sure. So let's open it up and see if there's enough in there. I mean, oh. Uh. 
Let's top it off just a little bit. I use a normal dot four fluid. Put some in there. Yeah. Good. And closing it up again. So the next thing I'm going to do is just lubricate the cable of my clutch here, just to make sure. It always goes smooth and I'm not going to ruin it or anything. So, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, this is just some normal oil I have here. Do this a bit up here. And then press a bit. Press, spray, press, spray. Oh, that should be, should be enough. Just to make sure. It's all smooth and easy. All right, guys, one thing that's also important, especially with older bikes, is that you check not all screws, but the most important screws. If they got loose or anything because of all the vibrations, it happens to me that I lose screws while riding. So, good example here is this one from my luggage rack. You can see it sticks out and uh, yeah got loose over over time so i'm going to fix this up and uh, yeah i'm going to check all the other screws as well okay yeah you always have to check the screws that's also the reason why i always bring spare ones spare screws and nuts and washers all the stuff you might need. Might as well check all the others as well. See here, that's already a different one because I lost one. Yeah, I lost a lot of screws already. All right, guys, these were some basic things. Uh, you might want to consider checking for a long trip. Also make sure your air filter is clean. I know that because mine is kind of new. I think we checked everything. This is basically the kind of stuff I'm doing when I'm going on a long motorcycle journey like I'm doing in a few days. Yeah, I hope this video helped you a bit and you should consider doing all of this as well just to make sure you stay on the road and have no issues. All right, let's go on a ride. so hot here the gauge says 40 degrees that is in the sun right guys let's get out of here all right guys I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you out a bit. And um, yeah, I wish you all the best for your next long journey. We're starting to Iceland in a few days. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss out on our Iceland adventure. So have a great day guys and see you in the next video. I hate traffic so much. Okay. Yeah.